All right, so things I've got here to do this is first thing a battery. Um, I got myself a modified sine wave inverter and then a charge controller. So uh, I'll use the cables back here, plug them straight into this thing, then with some wire here, it's a nice thick wire, just so nothing burns out, uh, I will run that to the battery and then from the battery to this thing where I can plug in. It's got a USB port and uh, just a regular power outlet, well the one in Australia. Um, so yeah, let's give that a shot. First thing I need to do though is cut these cables so I can shove it into that, um, that, that charge controller. Alright, so let's unbox this thing here. This is the first thing, first thing that I need right here. So these cables here basically I need to chop them and stick them in here. Um, the positive, positive in that one and the negative in that one. Then I'll basically run this one uh, to the battery so I can charge that and then this thing basically yeah, once the battery is all well and charged, I'll run these off the battery there into this so I can plug plug things in, power stuff. I suppose while I'm doing this, I can kind of explain the whole purpose of this series, the off-the-grid thing. Um, basically, what it is, is it's a way for me to gain some skills so if I were to suddenly go off the grid I'm able to survive so eventually I have plans to to grow potatoes and live off them for a week that kind of thing um, and so this is just like I think this is part three or, or, or something like that um, part three or four and this is all about how to get power to things this one I'm holding here is the negative. This one here is the positive, so that should go in here. Let's clamp it down on that. Oop, twist that the other way. All right, so that took a bit of time, but as you can see here, yeah, I just had to turn off the camera just because this wasn't working and the camera was just sitting there so I flicked it off until I could get it working but basically so these are connected into the solar panel you can see the 13.5 volts that number's been bouncing around a little bit um, anyway it's uh, hooked up this massive 4 meter lead around to the battery here uh, now I've got the inverter there all I gotta do is hook up the left and right, uh, start with positive and negative to the battery. Laptop's already plugged in, ready to be booted up and hopefully work from the sun. That'd be pretty awesome, so let's give that a shot. All right, let's do it, so. Yeah, that is, that is switched off. Let's have a look. So let's hook this up there and I'll hook there okay so now let's turn this thing on yeah we do have a green power light on this thing that's lit up now if I just turn this thing on oh don't know if you can hear that right that's the sound of the fan that's the fan in that thing oh it's vibrating too because the fan yep up oh. Okay, well, let me just have to see if I can get a close up of this one. Oh. No. I accidentally just disconnected the whole thing. Okay, there's a power light again. Fan on the inverter is going. Oh, sorry, camera's way out of focus. Can you see that HP logo on the screen there? Oh, it's gone now. It's booting up, but I've done it. Powering a laptop with the sun. Let me try to power 
multiple things. I'll, 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 I'll grab some other stuff. Okay. I keep killing this computer. That's the reason why I'm using an old one, just in case things did fail on me or the thing blew up, you know, it, uh, it'd be fine because it's only old. I don't use this one anymore, but I'm going to try plugging in this power board here. Uh, I've got here a light, a really bright one, so we'll be able to see it during the, the day anyway. Uh, and just of course, again, I'll try the computer. So these two things at once. So computer in, light in, let's flick it on. For starters, that's the light on, off. Let's turn the computer. And the computer's on too, there's HP logo right there. Boom. So there's a couple things, a light and the computer. So if I was out in the bush, all I had was well, obviously this stuff and the sun, I'd be right, I'd be cool. Uh, and of course, you know, I'd spend the day charging this battery. I, I can get a couple hours uh, roughly with this battery. Obviously, you know, if I get a bigger battery or multiple of them, I can go through the night. Uh, no worries there. That is unreal. So yeah, the, the plan I kind of have for this is, uh, I think it'd be kind of cool if pretty much everything in my room in this house, I can um, power using the sun so I don't have to rely on the, the, the wall outlets and, and keep, keep paying for electricity. I just get it for free here. You can't see it, I've got a big smile on my face though. This is really exciting. I'm very, very happy with all of this, this light this computer it's booted up all the way that's awesome that is so awesome all right, that's awesome so there's a bit of wind as you can tell there um, and there's a fair amount of clouds I don't know if it's meant to rain so I might pack up all this stuff just before if it is going to rain but um yeah, so I've successfully powered this light, which for right now, you know, is uh, being powered by the sun. Same with this computer, it's still on here. Well, anyway, it was good to um, do another off the grid episode finally. It's been, been a long time since back in my old house living on the big property. That was the last time I did an episode there. Um, anyway, yeah, if you did uh, enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see future videos like this one.